Hi, this is Henry Chamberlain and welcome to Board Briefings. Well, I just finished up a meeting here which we call the Real Estate Association Executive Summit. 24 other association execs here wrestling with a lot of different issues from membership to education to social media to conference attendance to how international do you want to be. We're always been a collaborating group and I think one of the things I'd like to emphasize for you today is as board members it's really important to free up conversation time to talk about what's going on around you as you participate in other groups. Uh, what are they doing that's really good? What kind of speakers have they been bringing in that are really interesting? Or search they're doing? But really explore what's going on around you so you can discover the niches that we can explore, our blue oceans, so that we can create the value. And you're saying to yourself, well then what did you guys talk about for a day? We spent 24 hours together. And I wanted to just encapsulate it in a couple of different ways. One is we benchmark membership. For the most part, across the board, people are retaining their members, the industry is stronger. The area that's problematic is growth. A lot of folks aren't finding a lot of new members to bring in, particularly principal members. A couple of exceptions, um, IFMA is growing nicely, primarily international members. Uh, the Royal Institute of Charge Surveyor is growing as well. But people are retaining their members and they're creating more value packages around that. And a lot of that value uh, goes into training, and education and that model seems to be changing across the board while people are hanging on to their big meeting or conference participation what they're finding in terms of growth is that it's really coming from sponsors and their partners that are really investing in those meetings to create a different experience and many folks are creating conference apps so people can access that information throughout so leveraging up social media which is a whole other conversation the problematic one for folks when they're delivering timely topical education is really what do you do virtually? Webinars versus online offerings that people can access 24 seven. A lot of associations are abandoning webinars uh, for sale. What they're finding is that people just aren't gonna pay the price to join a webinar online. There are a lot of free offerings. So more and more associations are giving free webinars, marketing, get the material out. What they're doing is they're shifting to models online so that you can access information on sustainability, energy efficiency, working with distressed tenants, any number of topics, but they're putting it online so you can access that 24 seven and maybe pay a little something for that. People are also shifting online with their publications, more and more abandoning print pieces, even newsletters, not doing the printed piece, but having sponsored e-newsletters on a monthly basis and they're getting good support for that because it helps people with the marketing. So a lot of discussion there. One area that we're gonna collaborate with across the board over the next year is careers in real estate. We're gonna create our own task group and really take a look at pre presenting the entire picture. If I wanna enter real estate coming out of a school, here's what you can do if you wanna be an owner, a manager, an asset manager, be involved in industrial properties, medical, but try to create the whole matrix for folks and leverage all of our resources. So yes, the industry is doing a lot of collaboration. I think that's great. We also talked about the trends in the business and creating better business models. ASAE has just come out with a new ratio report that talks about membership dues and non-dues revenue. Percentages are changing. For us this year, we're gonna be 46% dues. So majority of our revenue is gonna be non-dues revenue. I think for most of you, you've got mainly dues revenue. So you need to wrestle with that model. When we see you at the Gaylord in a few weeks, we're going to be having a discussion at the town hall meeting about a better business model. And I think this is a terrific opportunity for us with our terrific brand marketplace presence to create a better business plan, not only for next year, but looking at three to five years. I really look forward to having that discussion with you. Really appreciate the survey results you sent in and I look forward to welcoming you to Washington. What's going to be just a great package this year. Thanks.